Hi everybody, it's Nani. How are you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul for you. You guys saw me in yesterday's video do a Sheen haul. Just wanted to shake things up a little bit. I'd been doing back to back to back to back Dollar Tree hauls and had that Sheen order so I thought I would show it to you. Then I jumped right in to making the Dollar Tree haul. And I am actually wearing the earrings that I showed in the Sheen video. I don't know if you can see those very well, but oh my gosh, guys, they are just gorgeous. And they will go with so many things, just every color in there, the blues and greens and whites, love it. And then this was the blue, the um, shirt that I had showed. It has a zip front. I will stand up to show you. My mic is pulling the zipper to the side. The zipper is functioning and it is nice and secure. It's not like it's going to pop open on you. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up real quick so you guys can see it has the tab that you can roll the sleeve up if you would wish. So I did it, one is not with the tab and one is, so you can see the difference. And it doesn't come quite to my wrist. It's probably about two inches, inch and a half above my wrist, the length. And you can see the zipper goes the whole way down to kind of the top of your belly area and it will go the whole way down but so you can put it wherever wherever you would like it however risque you would want to be nice tunic length if you can see that stuck up there covers my tush it is just gorgeous I love it and you can see I'd said in the video it kind of looked see-through because of this light in the background but it is not you do I would not need to wear anything under this, but I will be ordering this in the black because I just think it's gorgeous. Silver, it has a silver silver zipper with the silver pull. Sorry for how the mic is pulling that down, but, and there is a little bit of gathering. It kind of drops off the shoulder and it's kind of gathered right here if you can see that. Very pretty. So I'm gonna wash this up and see how much it shrinks before I order the black. Because if this shrinks a lot, I will order the black in one size up. But I think it's gorgeous. So anyway, enough of that. You can go back and watch yesterday's video and see the rest of the Shein haul. <laughs> it was great. So anyway, I wanted to show you what was in my thumbnail. I found some cool things, by the way. Did you guys see this? In a few hauls back, I showed the cream soda, a single cream soda. Some stores are selling these as singles. Some are selling them as the four pack. We didn't know that, but we picked up one of the singles and then several days later, probably a week or so later, we went into a different store and there they were in the four packs. So we got a four pack of the IBC cream sodas. These are glass, glass bottles. And then the other flavor that we saw was black cherry, four pack. I think that is excellent. Let's see if I can hold both of these up, which I doubt. They're heavy. That is an awesome deal for IBC sodas. And like I've said in many of my videos in the past, me and hubby don't drink a lot of soda, but the kids will be coming around here again before school starts back up at the end of August. So I like to just have these things on hand. You know, the holidays are coming. Just great to stock up on. I'm gonna set this on the floor. So keep an eye out for that, guys, because they are in four packs. What do you do? All right, let me see. Food items, let's get those out of the way. I believe I only have two. They now have the Campbell's SpaghettiOs with Franks. I thought that was interesting have them for when the kids are here. And this says pasta with sliced franks made with chicken, pork, and beef in tomato sauce. And it's a 15.6 ounce can. The best buy is December of 23. And they'll be gone way before that. I only picked up one because I thought it was interesting that they had little hot dogs chopped up in these ones. I've never seen the ones with the franks in the store before. We've seen the ones with the little meatballs and then just the plain, just the pasta itself, but never never with the Franks. So we're gonna try them. And like I say all the time, are they the best for you? No, but you don't wanna eat them for breakfast, lunch, and supper. Every once in a while, 
And to have on the shelf, if need be, you'll have them. And then they still had these in the store. So I did go ahead and pick up another pack. These are the Keebler Chips Deluxe Minis. They are the little rainbow cookies. And it is a five pack. Five pack? Yes, five pack. These are just awesome to have on hand. Throw in a lunchbox, a book bag, throw in the car just to have if you get hungry. They're little tiny cookies, probably the size of a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger than that. But they're delicious. They're, they're Keebler. They're Chips Deluxe. They're so, so good. And I will probably be having some of these right after I make this video. I think it's great. Stock up on this type of stuff now before back to school. And that was it for my food. Let's get this out of the way. I bought this, got this. So actually, Hubby's the one that found it. I am over the whole, like all of their, their tins, their flower things, all have sayings and stuff on. I have so many of those. I wanted something just plain. I'm over the whole, that whole thing. Like plaques and, you know, the little tchotchkes you can sit around for the holidays. That's different. But for this type of thing, I wanted just plain. And he found this and I thought this was excellent. It is the farmhouse look, but it's just the white. I call it like a flower tin, a flower vase. And it does have the kind of distressed black around the top just metal and what do they call this? They call it a planter. That's the word I was looking for. So picked up this to try to make a, a bouquet, a flower arrangement here for the fall. So you'll probably see this in the background here downstairs somewhere. I've been filming a lot up here lately. It's like I had taken down all my lights, my ring lights and everything downstairs thinking we were gonna paint. We still haven't done it, but it's like, I just don't want to set everything back up. And I just have been coming up here to film. So it is what it is. All right. For the toolbox, you guys all know, one of you actually reminded me about this. I didn't have it on my list, but I'm so glad you reminded me. This is the little kit with all of the teeny, teeny screwdrivers in. You get 14 pieces and it's kind of magnetized. So they snap into place the, um, the actual tips, bits, whatever you want to call that comes with the handle if you can see in there it's a twist top I actually own one of these for myself it has the little handle and then all the different size tips in there every type of screwdriver little teeny teeny ones these come in handy so I picked up one of these for for in the toolbox and it's very hard to get the lid back on it's like you have to be just perfectly precise when you do it so I'll worry about that later but it also has all of the sizes around this, the edge too. And little tiny loop on the top if you would wanna hang it. And this, I don't even know who makes this. This is just Greenbrier. But I use this at least once a week, not this one, but the one that I own. At least once a week, I use it for something. I tighten up glass, you know, the, the screwdrivers and my glass glasses legs and just all types of different things. So thank you for reminding me about that. Grab that one. <clears throat> boring grab gar or garbage bags I haven't been back to Aldi's I need to make a trip to Aldi's because I was buying theirs and they're excellent much better deal but I picked them up at the Dollar Tree couldn't find any that was 14 so we had to get 12 and I was on my last garbage bag how that happens I don't know I had big black garbage bags but no just just the regular white kitchen bags and these are by good sense and they're made in the USA which I think is great so Grabbed actually two boxes of these, but I didn't bring them both up to show you. Throw those here on the floor. And then I saw this and thought, I'm gonna pick that up and give it a try. It's by Glad, and it is the Cling, Cling and Seal, 45 square feet clear food wrap. And I don't think I've ever tried this in my life from anywhere. And when I saw it at the Dollar Tree, I thought, why not give it a shot? So if you guys have used this, let me know what your thoughts are on it. I don't think I want to open it up because I have a plastic wrap open, but I will be trying this very soon. I know it's just about gone. So I'm going to try that. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Is it worth it? Is the 45 square feet a decent deal for $1.25? I don't use a lot of plastic wrap anymore because I've been addicted to those shower cap bowl covers. So yeah, but anyway, finally found the black and gray and 
gray pack of my hair things. I love these. I have them now in every color and I already had bought a pair, a pack with the, the this color combination. I'm stuttering. And I know the grand ladies took a couple, so I was on the lookout and one of you kindly were gonna send them to me. I don't have a post office, guys, a post office box, and I'm not quite sure that I will ever get one. I truly appreciate you thinking of me. Another one of you wanted to send me calendars. I truly, truly appreciate you thinking of me and offering to send me things, but I just, I don't have a PO box right now and I've thought about it and then I just talk myself out of it. So I just, I don't, I just don't have one, but I truly graciously appreciate you thinking of me, but I did find them. So they make me happy. These do not hurt my hair. They don't break my hair. They're soft and gentle. Unless I do them really tight, they don't leave a mark in my hair. My hair looks really wicked today for some reason. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's humid. So yeah, I picked up one of those. I should have grabbed two because I do use those shades the most. And then guys, it was something that just made me smile. They have the Berenstain Bears little plushies. I think that is amazing. If the grandkids, grandladies, because I know our grandson won't want them, but if the grandladies don't want these, these will be going in the Toys for Tots bin. I think they are so cute and just takes me back to my childhood. It takes me back to my daughter's childhood. She loved the Berenstain Bears. She used to watch the cartoon on TV. She used to read the books. She probably still has the books. Allison saved a ton of her books from her childhood, the little golden books. She had tons of them. And then she's brought them out and the girls have read them and they'll keep them forever. They'll probably be passed down to their kids. And I think that's amazing. But Berenstain Bears, so cute. And they had, they had all four. They had Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Brother Bear, and Sister Bear. And these were the only four that I saw. I'm assuming that this was the complete set. I don't know if they have the names on them or not. I didn't even look for that. It just says Berenstain Bears plush. And these are distributed by Greenbrier. Nice. PBS Kids. I don't see anywhere where it says the name of each character. But I think that is just so cute. The holidays are coming faster and faster. We're into August now. And I've, I'm so happy that I've been stocking up for Toys for Tots all year. And my bin is full. I'm going to have to move on to a second bin, which I am so, so happy to do that. So anyway, guys, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. Be on the lookout for the, the sodas in a four pack if you're looking for those. I'm assuming that is how they are supposed to be sold. So anyway, if you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.